Taya. And I'll hello and welcome. This is Talk Taya, and I'll be guiding us through how to create a ebook on Canva. Uh, in a previous class, I taught how to create your ebook cover, so I'll not be doing that in this class. But I'll be showing us how to create beautiful multiple pages for our ebook on Canva here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll for a template. I'm randomly picking templates. Yes, this is Talk Taya here. And it's so good to have you. Home sweet home. Oh, there's a couple there. Looks like a... <laughs> so we have picked this and I'll be using this to actually create the multiple pages. So this is our template that we have picked. I'll be adding multiple pages to that. I click on the little three buttons, that menu button to the top left of this this cover that we have there now clicking on that gives me two things i have a copy button and i have a plus button now I've done the copy button and that has added at a second page to this so this is the second page. What I'm going to do to this page is I'm going to, you can see the color down there because it's highlighted. So I'm going to change that to white. And I will be adding some design to it. I'll be adding some design to it. So this page two, this page two, this page one, so this page two, basically I'm going to delete all that I have here, I've highlighted it, that's the delete button down there, so delete the whole group, delete, I'm basically deleting Okay, that's the picture. Delete image. And I'll be changing the color to white. So color change to white. The next thing I'll do is to the left there is a magnifying glass. No, I'm not using I'm using to the right the plus button. And here I'll be choosing elements. So I just want to add an element to this. To make it beautiful so for this to load so that's an element there i've clicked on that element and that's the element what i'll be doing is i'll be editing this to get the effect that i want first thing i'll do is edit the size Then I'll go on and edit the color. I want this to have as borders for this book. So add color to it. Make it an easier read. So that's it. And then we have all the color options down here. So as I click on each one, they give me options of colors to choose from. So I'll be turning this into really bright colors. How about that? So this is brighter. And the next thing I'll do is I'll click on this image and that image again and copy it. So I now have two of it. So I'm dragging one of it down. That's basically what I want to have. So look where I want to look. Let's put too much look on how I, I like it. Okay. Okay. 
okay so i guess oh why am i having much fun we need to look at that one okay so here we have it i think i like that for that now let's make some less large response here so this is just to add some color to the book so there we go the next thing we'll do is we'll keep multiplying this page you see just clicking on that copy button is adding more to the pages so so have a well already we have created 17 pages this way 20 pages now just copying and pasting so that's it that's it that's it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the second page now basically it just can show you this on any page and i'll click on the plus button click on text click on add some text of my own so click text of page uh, i'm adding add a heading add a subheading add a little body text i'm clicking add a little body text and on this i will Okay, I have to get so I can see. I'll be pasting. What I want to ask. Okay. So I need to edit that. Like oh, select all. Okay, so selected all. Okay, so the other one. Select all. Edit. I normally do this on okay. yeah, my computer, but for this tutorial, okay. You will notice those grid lines. Grid lines are helping me make sure that I align whatever it is I want to to write in the page. I need to do some editing for this. Okay, so let's take that out. Okay, so. So now I can edit what is left. So I want this. Yeah, I want to get that more like it. 
I think I need to do something about font size too. So font size. Okay. Okay, and I need to do what again? I think this space is a lot. So I need to do something about the spacing. And this arrow will help me do something about the spacing. So first I'll be spacing reducing the space between the line heights. Okay. So a little too much. Okay. It's better. Now if I want to list this will help me with listing. If I have things to list, you can see that I'm not listing anything else. On select that. Alright, so I think we're about done. Ouch.